All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Another day and woke Hollywood is in an outrage. They are in outrage because Donald Trump revealed the new logo for the United States Space Force under the Department of the Air Force. So this is a military thing. And you would think all these great Americans would unite and say, hey, this is a wonderful thing. But no, of course not, because Donald Trump revealed the new logo and it looks very similar to the Starfleet logo from Star Trek. So now they're calling for Paramount to sue Donald Trump. They want him. They want to sue him after consultation with our great military leaders, designers and others. I am pleased to present the new logo for the United States Space Force, the sixth branch of our magnificent military. And you can see there it says United States Space Force Department of the Air Force. So this is under the Air Force. It's under their jurisdiction. But of course, the blue check marks, they don't care. Donald Trump revealed it, so it must be a very bad thing. He stole the Starfleet logo. I'm a U.S. military vet, and I'm pretty disgusted with woke Hollywood when it comes to this. They don't care about our military power. I do. I'm a patriot of this United States. I serve them in the military. I love this country. But obviously, woke Hollywood only loves this country when they get their way. So did Donald Trump actually steal the Star Trek logo? Actually, he didn't. He didn't. He even said that he consulted with military leaders. Now remember, Department of the Air Force. But we're going to jump right into that in a few minutes. So let's check out what some of these blue check marks on Twitter actually put out. So let's take a look. David Goodman. He is a writer for The Orville. I think Paramount is going to sue. And Joe Henderson replies, God, I hope they do. Daniel Stewart, who is Patrick Stewart's son, you know, John Luke Picard, says more like getting sued by Paramount. Palmer report, Donald Trump decided to rip off his Space Force logo from Gene Rottenberry in Star Trek. One day after everyone just watched Star Trek Picard, and got reminded of what the Starfleet logo looks like. Really? I guess some people really didn't do their homework on the Starfleet logo. So let me kind of educate you here a little bit. The Starfleet Command actually took their logo from NASA. NASA. Yes. Believe it or not, NASA had the logo first. They took inspiration from NASA. So here's a side by side picture of the Starfleet Command logo and NASA. And you see the Delta right there and there's a Delta up there in NASA. And actually the Delta was first used by the United States Air Force going back to around 1942. They were the first ones to use it, not Star Trek. So I'm pretty sure that Rottenberry got inspiration from, from the U US uh, government, you know, NASA. But not only that, if woke Hollywood is so outraged that Donald Trump is using this logo, why don't, why don't they have a problem with these two logos I'm about to show you? I've already showed you the NASA logo. How about this? Russian Federal Space Agency. Guess what? They have that Delta right there. Looks kind of similar, doesn't it? Well, if you don't think that one looks very similar, look at the next one here. China National Space Administration. Really looks like the Starfleet logo, right? Why don't you push for Paramount to sue Russia and China? Why do you want them to sue the US government? Remember, I said the Delta was used all the way back until back from the 1940s, long before Star Trek. 
And since the US Air Force actually was using that, check out the logo from 1982. It says Air Force Space Command. Looks very similar, doesn't it? Back in 1982, and I believe that's the year that uh, Star Trek II Rafficon came out. Love that movie. I'm pretty sure that no one was calling for the government to get sued by Star Trek. I'm pretty sure nobody was going to do that. Now, if you look here, that looks a lot like the logo that Donald Trump released, right? It really does. Air Force Space Command and a new one is under the Department of the Air Force. So what's your problem, Woke Hollywood? Why are you so outraged? That he actually used this it was inspired by the air force space command not star trek because star trek was inspired by the air force and by nasa both owned by the government boy it's just amazing right just amazing that woke hollywood is in such an outrage by this I'm not surprised. I'm absolutely not surprised because this is what they do. Donald Trump did it. He must be doing something illegal. Now, whether you like Trump or not, it doesn't matter. The problem is Hollywood is always in an outrage every single time he does something. Even George Takei, who played Sulu in Star Trek, he's, a, he's even expecting royalties. He actually tweeted out that he was expecting some royalties from this. He says, uh huh, we are expecting some royalties from this. No, you're not. If you sue the United States government over this, you will lose because they had it first, going all the way back to the 1940s. And they were using a very similar logo since 1982. Why didn't you sue back then? Why do you want them to sue the government now? Why are you so against the US military? Just because Trump is commander in chief? That's the only reason why. I mean, these woke, crazy, far left people in Hollywood, they need to get their act together. This is ridiculous. Be patriots, be happy that we're expanding our military to space china and russia they're already out there we're behind the eight ball this is something new this is something we need to do but that's just my thoughts on this what do you guys think of this is hollywood way off their rocker on this i think they are but maybe you don't so guys let me know what you think about all this in the comments if you're new here to the channel please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on the next video, John Matrix, out.